From China's largest demolition of 15 unused high-rises, to Mexico's $16 billion investment in an airport without a single plane ever taking off from it, and a bridge almost the size of the Golden Gate Bridge collapsed due to a design flaw. Here are six of the most expensive construction mistakes in all history. Number 6. Liang Star City In 2011, the second phase of Liang Star City began construction in Kunming, China. The project aimed to build 19 all buildings across four large sites, intended for both residential and office purposes. After just a year of construction, the project was taken over by a new company, and they succeeded in completing the first four high-rise buildings. But in 2013, financial difficulties forced the company to stop work on the remaining buildings. The other 15 buildings were structurally complete but not fully finished. Over the years, rainwater began flooding into the basements of these buildings, which caused irreversible damage to their foundations. In December 2020, a different real estate company purchased the property and project rights for approximately $150 million. They soon realized that the eight-year-old buildings wouldn't meet the requirements of the evolving real estate market, so they made the decision to demolish the empty buildings. Demolition wasn't an easy task. Over four tons of explosives were set, and safety precautions were taken to ensure that the demolition was as safe as possible. Finally, in August 2021, they carried out the planned demolition. After years of preparation and construction, the buildings were brought down in just 45 seconds, and it was the largest demolition ever conducted in China. Number 5. Mexico City Texcoco Airport in September 2014, Mexico's President Enrique Pina Nieto announced plans to undertake the largest infrastructure project the country had seen in over a century, the Texcoco Airport. It aimed to address the country's increasing air traffic by serving as Mexico's new international gateway, replacing the bustling Mexico City International Airport. President Pina Nieto planned to build the airport in multiple phases, with the first phase to be completed in 2020 and the final phase in 2065. Upon full completion, the airport was intended to feature six runways and accommodate up to 125 million passengers annually, positioning it as one of the world's largest airports. The project was expected to cost over $13 billion. In order to finance the project, Mexico had to borrow billions of dollars in loans with interest. However, four years later, in 2018, the newly elected President Andres Manuel López Obrador openly voiced his intention to cancel the airport project during his campaign. He cited allegations of corruption and cost overruns, but more crucially, he emphasized that the airport was being constructed on unstable sinking land. These factors, according to him, justified the decision to cancel the project. Following a national referendum where the majority rejected the new airport plan, the decision was made to halt construction. By this time, construction had progressed to nearly 30% completion, and it was later revealed that Mexico lost over $16 billion by abandoning the airport project. Number 4. Tacomaneros Bridge Let's journey back to the 1940s for the story of the Tacomaneros Bridge. This bridge connected Tacoma to the Kitsap Peninsula and was a marvel of its time. It was the third longest suspension bridge worldwide just trailing the George Washington Bridge and the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. But challenges occurred during its construction, especially due to the windy conditions in the area. As the bridge deck was constructed, it started swaying up and down, which affectionately getting the nickname Galloping Gertie from the workers. Engineers tried to stabilize it with hydraulic buffers, and after much effort, the bridge finally opened to the public on July 1, 1940. But despite these efforts, the problem persisted, and the bridge was attracting curious crowds eager to witness this spectacle. However, just four months later disaster struck. Strong winds caused the bridge to sway more violently than ever before, until it collapsed into the water below. Remarkably, no one was injured, as concerns regarding the bridge's stability had been mounting for some time. Engineers soon realized that their construction methods were deeply flawed, with no support system to keep the bridge stable. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge quickly became infamous as one of the most spectacular failures in bridge engineering history. A decade later, Washington unveiled a redesigned version of the bridge with a web truss that cost more than $786 million. Today, 70 years later, that bridge remains standing. 
Number 3. Jeddah Tower Formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, is a towering structure in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. It was planned to reach a height equal to two and a half Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other, with the goal of becoming the world's first building to reach one kilometer in height. This ambitious project was part of Saudi Arabia's efforts to boost its economy through tourism, inspired by Dubai's success with the Burj Khalifa. Construction started in 2013, with a target completion date set for 2018. However, the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge disrupted progress significantly, and they stopped building when only about a third of the tower was complete. The project faced additional setbacks as major investors, including Prince Sal Wali Bintalal, were taken into custody by the Saudi government. Though they were later released, but construction remained at a standstill, with no clear timeline for resuming work. When they stopped working, the tower had reached 252 meters tall. The COVID-19 pandemic further postponed plans for construction to resume in 2020 due to safety concerns for workers. Since then, there has been no visible progress at the construction site. If the project were to be abandoned midway, the financial loss would be possibly over a billion dollars. Number 2. Oroville Spillover In 2017, America's largest dam attracted significant attention with concerning headlines. The Oroville Dam, situated on the Feather River in Northern California, was initially built for water supply, power generation, and flood control. However, it was later revealed that despite being 50 years old at the time, the dam had not received proper maintenance and was ill-prepared to manage flooding. This became a major problem during record-breaking rainy season in California. By February 2017, powerful storms had pushed the river's water levels to 150% of its usual capacity, and Lake Oroville was rising rapidly. As the water kept rising, operators had to use the main spillway to release pressure from the dam, but they soon observed an unusual pattern in the water flow, and after closer inspection, they discovered severe erosion in the foundation and concrete. Proposals to upgrade the dam spillways had been rejected years before, and the operators had no idea that the spillway was in such poor condition. As the water level and pressure continued to rise, workers took action by clearing trees from the hillside in preparation for opening the emergency spillway. Just a few hours later, they had no choice but to open the emergency spillway for the first time ever at the Oroville Dam. This led to millions of gallons of water flooding downstream and prompting the immediate evacuation of 188,000 people from the area. Fortunately, a week later, the water levels started to drop, which allowing residents to go back home. Overall, more than $875 million was spent on repairing the two spillways, and the project took over a year to finish. Number 1. The Harmon Hotel In the middle of Las Vegas Strip is City Center, a big complex designed to offer fancy living. It was announced in 2004 as a place with luxury apartments, shops, and everything you need for city life. One of its main features was the Harmon Hotel, a tall building designed as both a hotel and residential space. It was planned to include a stylish rooftop pool with views of the Strip. Construction began in 2007 with a $275 million budget, but it stopped halfway. Inspectors found serious problems in 2008. They discovered that the steel supports meant to hold up the building's 49 floors were put in the wrong way. So, they had to stop building after just 28 floors. Plans for apartments had to be canceled, which resulted in giving refunds to people who had already bought them. This setback caused more delays and eventually they had to stop building altogether. The owners and GM covered the unfinished building in glass and used it for advertising. In 2011, it was revealed that the Harmon couldn't withstand an earthquake and would collapse because of its flaws. So, MGM decided to demolish it. They couldn't use explosives because of nearby buildings, so they took it apart floor by floor, starting in 2014 and finishing in 2015. The whole process cost about $170 million, adding to MGM total loss of over $450 million. Well, that's the end of our video. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe.